continuing to rain cats and dogs again, and the lake just continues to rise. Right now, a new flooding frustrations. People on Pigeon Lake continue to deal with the effects of flooding. Plus, Wisconsin pardons issued. Governor Tony Evers hands out the state's first pardons in nearly a decade. And bear attacks in Duluth. Police are warning citizens to be bear aware after two dogs were attacked in the Duluth Heights neighborhood. You're watching KBJR6 News at Noon on KBJR6, your weather authority. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan. Half CC Gaines has the afternoon off. For many years, residents living on Pigeon Lake in Wisconsin have struggled with high water and flooding. And members of the Bayfield Lake Group have attempted to get help from state and federal agencies, but with no success. KBJR 6's Emma Quinn takes a look at how they're trying to solve this problem. After years and attempts to get help for the flooding and high water issues, members of the Bayfield Lake Group and residents on Pigeon Lake gathered to discuss new ways to fix the problem. Continuing to rain cats and dogs again, and the lake just continues to rise. After applying for a FEMA grant last fall, they were denied. 